In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple pair of drop earrings with a catch. These are pressings I did with a Potter USA die, and I'm using 20 gauge half hard sterling silver wire for the ear wires. I'm going to cut a short length, sand the ends, and now I'm ready to solder the ear wire to my pressings. I'm melting a little bit of solder on the end of the ear wire, and now I'm heating up the pressing until the solder flows from the ear wire to the pressing. I'm gonna pickle and clean. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to solder the other end of the ear wire to the back of my pressing, and this will become the catch. So I'm just going to bend it around and get it to come flush with the back of the pressing. I'm not worried about the shape of the wire at the moment. I just want a nice butt joint. And then I'm going to solder those wires to the back. Adding a little tiny pallion of solder and heating until the solder flows. Make sure to really focus your heat on the pressing and not on the ear wire. Okay, the solder has flowed. Ready for the pickle again? They're clean and ready for forming. So I'm going to leave just about a quarter of an inch and cut the ear wire. Then I'm going to straighten this part out because this is going to become the wire that goes through the ear. I'm using a nylon mallet and a steel block. Just gonna slowly rotate the wire and hammer down the high spots, make it nice and straight. This will also help work hard in the wire so that my ear wires will be nice and stiff. Now I'm gonna use a round nose plier and form a 90 degree bend right where the ear wire meets the pressing. I'm gonna grasp the pressing in my thumb and first finger and pull the wire around a dowel. My preferred dowel size is 3 8 of an inch for ear wires. So now I have a nice ear wire and I'm ready to form the catch. I'm just gonna use my round nose pliers again to bring that catch wire, um, bring it down into a slight curve to act as the catch for the ear wire. going to kind of straighten it out a little bit and cut off any excess. I want it to catch the ear wire but I don't want it to be hard to use. I like to put a bend right here, just kind of flare the end of the ear wire out also gives the catch a little spot to rest. And then I'm gonna cut off the excess wire. That looks pretty good. I actually just noticed that my ear wire extends a little bit below my pressing, a little bit longer, um, which means it will be visible from the front when worn, and I don't want it to be like that. So I snipped off a little bit of my ear wire. I'm gonna re-bend it, um, re-flare the end, straighten out any irregularities, and then I'm going to adjust the catch to be a little higher up. I'm not gonna re-solder it, I'm just gonna bend it a little bit and replace everything um, so that the ear wire and the catch stay hidden behind the earring and are not in view from the front when the earring is worn. That looks pretty good. All right, now I'm going to um, just forge my ear wires. This is both decorative and functional. It will work hard in the ear wires even more. And I just like how it looks when I give a slight um, flat transition on the top curve of the ear wire and also that flared end. So 
so you can see just that slight hammering. Um, it's made it a little bit harder to get into the catch, so I'm gonna adjust that one more time. Just cut a tiny bit off. And now it moves more freely. All right, now I'm ready for final finishing. This is just a soft um, silicone wheel, fine polisher, and a little patina and polish.